If you've got a fire stick, fire TV or fire cube, whether you just got one or if you've been using it for a while, it's a good idea to check out the settings that can help keep your information safe and improve how your device works. Even if you've tweaked your settings before, it's a good idea to take a look now and then as Amazon updates software and changes settings quite often. So let's jump in into some quick and easy tweaks you can make to lock down your privacy and supercharge your Fire Stick for the ultimate streaming experience. It's really important to protect your sensitive information while using the internet. The good news is that NordVPN can help keep your data safe and secure. Plus, Nord is more than just a VPN, with added benefits such as freeing you from any streaming restrictions. Don't miss out on the best VPN deal available right now. Check out the links provided in the description to get started and stay protected. The first setting we can look into is not exactly a privacy or a tracking problem, but it can be annoying. Now this is the home screen of Fire TV and as you can see the top half of the screen is filled with advertised and sponsored content. A video or trailer will automatically begin playing when you're on the home screen and will also play if you push the directional button up on your remote. Now I don't usually mind this as I like watching trailers to help me decide if a movie or show is worth watching. However, it might be more annoying for some people. In that case, you can change the settings to stop videos from auto-playing. To do this, head into your Fire TV settings, which, if you need a reminder, is the cog or gear icon on the far right of the home row. Tap down to Preferences, select Featured Content, and turn both options to off to stop auto-playing video and audio content. The next set of settings we will look at is the privacy settings, which are crucial if you want to prevent Amazon from tracking your activities for targeted advertising and other purposes. So from here, tap the back button on your remote once, then tap up to find and select the privacy settings option. First, let's discuss stored email addresses. Now this relatively new feature was introduced in a recent update. So even if you've been using your Fire TV for a while, you may not have noticed it. Whenever you enter an email address on your Fire TV, whether it's for logging into an app or a streaming service, Amazon has started collecting and storing those email addresses. For some users, this can be a real time saver. Entering a long email address using the Fire Stick remote can be a bit tedious. So having your Fire TV remember previous email addresses can help autofill them, saving you time and effort when using supported apps. However, the autofill feature doesn't work with all apps, therefore unnecessary data about you is stored. Now this may not be for everyone. Plus, if your account was hacked, any email addresses stored here could be exposed. You can delete any email addresses saved on your Fire TV by clicking the trash icon next to each address and then selecting the confirm changes button. Now the top email address is associated with your Amazon account, so that one cannot be deleted, but you can remove the others. It's a good idea to check this setting regularly and remove any email addresses you don't want stored. Next is cookie consent, which uses cookies and device identifiers to show targeted ads. If you don't want cookies to track your activity, select the cookie consent setting then select the decline button to turn this option off. Next up is device usage data. This setting collects your personal data relating to the use of your device to improve Amazon products and services. 
To take control of your privacy, you can prevent your Fire Stick from tracking how you use your device by turning this option off. Select it and then confirm by choosing Turn Off. App usage data collects information about the apps you download and how long you use them. And this also includes monitoring how you use third party apps. If you don't want your app usage to be tracked, turn this option off and select it, then confirm by choosing Turn Off. Now, interest based ads generates an automatic advertising ID for your device, which is used to build a profile on you for advertising purposes or to show interest based ads. If you don't want your data to be collected and used for targeted advertising, select it and turn off to confirm. With this option turned off, your unique advertising ID is also removed. Now click back once on your remote to return to the preferences settings and next we will look at data usage monitoring. Now usually this will automatically be set to off and this feature is useful only if you have a limited internet data plan or a data cap. It helps you to keep track of your data consumption by monitoring how much data your apps are using and warning you when you're approaching your limit by creating a data alert when your data consumption nears your limit. If you don't have a limited internet plan, you can turn this feature off as it won't be useful to you. Now press the back button on your remote several times to return to the main settings menu. Now next, let's take a look at the settings in the My Fire TV option. The next setting we want to take a look at is found under About and then Storage. Now here, an option called Automatic Offload is designed to remove unused apps when your Fire TV device is low on storage. Any apps not used for over 60 days will be automatically uninstalled to save space. However, any app data will be retained, so if you've made changes to the app preferences or you've signed in with an email, username and password, this information will be saved if you choose to reinstall and use the app again. While this feature can help free up space, some users may prefer not to have their Fire TV device uninstall apps automatically. So if you prefer, click on Automatic Offload to turn it off. Click back to return to the My Fire TV settings. And before we leave this section, if you have developer options enabled, it's a good idea to check whether ADB debugging is turned on or off. Now, ADB debugging allows remote access to your Fire TV. And while it's generally safe to leave it enabled on your home network, connecting to a public network can pose a security risk. Therefore, if you travel with your Fire Stick or if you don't use ADB debugging for any reason while at home, it's best to select developer options, select the ADB debugging option and ensure that it is turned off. The final settings to take a look at are more about personal preference than security or privacy, but they can certainly be useful. These settings are found under display and audio. When you navigate through your Fire Stick, you may notice a clicking sound whenever you move around the screen. If you find this sound annoying, you can easily turn it off. To do this, select the audio option and then navigate to navigation sounds to turn the clicking sound off. Next, go back and select HDMI CEC device control. Now this setting is beneficial if you can't find your Fire TV remote, because when it's enabled, it allows your TV remote to control and navigate your Fire TV. Now, I often receive comments about Fire Stick remotes not working, so if you encounter this issue, having this setting turned on will let you use your TV remote instead. I hope you found this video helpful and it covered all the settings you should look at on your Fire Stick, Fire TV or Fire Cube.
If there are any others that you like to change or turn off, let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, comment and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases. These small actions from you make a big difference to me and help to improve how YouTube recommends my videos to potential subscribers. And I truly appreciate your help in making my channel grow. Don't forget that online privacy and security are more important now than ever before. And NordVPN is an excellent choice. I use it almost every day to help me unblock internet restrictions when streaming such as this. With NordVPN connected, I can watch the content I enjoy from anywhere. You can easily download and install NordVPN's user-friendly app on all your devices, including Firestick, by searching for it in your app store. With NordVPN, simply connect to any one of their servers to ensure that your online activities are unrestricted and protected from prying eyes and potential cyber threats. The Nord app has some very useful features for your Fire Stick, including threat protection to help keep your device safe from potential security threats by blocking access to malicious websites. Plus, AutoConnect makes connecting to a secure server a breeze by automatically connecting to a network without having to manually do it every time you want to use the internet. Split tunneling lets you choose which apps or websites use the VPN connection and which ones use your regular internet connection. These settings and features are essential for anyone who wants to have a secure and personalised online experience. Check out the links in the video description for the best deals and try it now completely risk-free for 30 days.